Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today. And EA just released a new Team of the Week players for Week 19, or if you want to call it the Divisional Weekend. Um, so we got some really great games going uh, that happened this weekend. We had the Patriots versus the Ravens and the Seattle Seahawks versus the Panthers. So those were two great games that I played on Saturday. And then for the Sunday games, we had the Packers versus the Cowboys and then the Colts versus the uh, Broncos. So... Um, now we know who's playing in the conference finals for each conference. Um, for the AFC, we got the Patriots versus the Colts. And in the NFC, we got the Seahawks versus the Packers. So that's going to be two great games this going on this weekend. And that just brings us closer to the Super Bowl. Um, but yeah, so usually they show us two Team of the Week heroes. But here we just have a picture of the Gronk. So I'm guessing he's the Team of the Week hero. And let's get on to that when we get to him. So our first player we got right off the bat here, we got Greg Toller. Um, he's coming from a 74 overall gold card, staying at a gold card, and now is an 85 overall. So that's a nice kind of big uh, 9 overall boost for him. Um, next we got Jeremy Mincy. He has a huge jump from a 69 overall silver card to an 85 gold card. So... He's one of the three players that were on losing teams, but still got a team of the week player. So that's one of them. And the second one here is um, Raheem Moore. Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, he was the Denver's did lose this weekend and so did Dallas. Um, but he doesn't really have a big overall boost. He's, his base card is an 83 overall gold card and he just moves up three overalls to an 86. So that's that um, him. And then we have... Devante or Devante Adams. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right as well. He has a huge boost from a 66 overall silver card and now he's a 90 overall an elite card. So that's a really good jump for him. And then our last player that lost or his team lost, but he still gets team of the week is Justin Forsett. And I was watching this Patriots versus Ravens game and he just tore up our defense, man. He just kept getting first downs. He he played amazing. Um, but I'm so happy that the Patriots won. Um, he's coming from a 68 overall silver card, and now he's a 90 overall elite card. And he deserves everything he gets for um, this Team of the Week card. He played amazing. And yeah, and finally, we know Team of the, our, our, our last Team of the Week player. Um, I'm guessing there's no Team of the Week heroes because it doesn't indicate on here. Um, but here we got Rob Gronkowski. He has an 89 overall elite card as his base, and he also has a uh, road to the playoff MVP player at a 94 overall elite card. Um, so he just goes, he has three cards now. This was kind of weird. They picked the Gronk. Okay, he's unbelievable. Yeah, he was amazing. He got us that touchdown to bring us back into a seven point game. Um, but really, I thought Tom Brady could have got a card. Um, Julian Edelman with that nice um, touchdown pass to Amendola. Maybe Amendola was going to get a card. Could have got a card. Um, but whatever. It's Rob Gronkowski. They gave us another Patriots card. So I can't really complain. He's one of my favorite players on the Patriots. So I can't complain about that. And what's weird is you see every team has a card beside um, the Carolina Panthers and the Seattle Seahawks. And everybody thought... Cam Chancellor was going to get a Team of the Week card. I really thought he was going to get a Team of the Week card. I was really hoping he was because I really love his 91 overall um, Team of the Week card from Week 3, I believe. Um, but it is kind of a low rate over card and it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to get an update. But I'm guessing that he's going to be probably part of the Football Outsider set that's going to be released Friday. And that's kind of better because Football Outsiders... They have a higher chance. You have a higher chance of getting them than Team of the Weeks for some reason. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the divisional playoff weekend Team of the Week cards. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the players. They're pretty good. Hope you guys are. And please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and follow me at Twitter at NoobKill213. And I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.